clicked on this video because of the title, you can relax. It's pretty much just clickbait. <laughs> okay, so update. What exactly is going on right now? I just kind of wanted to, uh, just kind of wanted to do this little sit down vlog because I don't know what to vlog about while I'm here. So basically, while I was in Colorado, the high altitude really was weighing down on the Jeep a lot. Um, I think I mentioned before that I thought I had a big loss in power. I felt like it couldn't get up hills, and especially driving up mountains and stuff, like trying to get up to even St. Mary's where it's a paved road. I'd be in first and second gear practically flooring it, and I'm like terrified of the possibility of just like sputtering out and having an incident, kind of the same incident I had when I went off road. That's actually the initial reason I decided to get the 4x8 gears was because there was just so much torque loss from all that extra weight in the Jeep that I just, it can't handle going off road and that kind of sucks half the fun out of having a Jeep. So I had to actually leave my Jeep in Oklahoma which meant that there was no content for that whole week and it was a little bit odd because I had felt like I had just started the trip and then immediately went back and that was not the plan but I kind of just did it because my family wanted me to go on vacation with them so so I actually already got the gears covered by one of my supporters the only thing I actually had to pay for was to get them installed and I knew my price point on that so I was just waiting for a little bit more income well I had the money saved up to be able to get the gears on and it was going to be $650 to get the gears installed so I decided I was just going to pay that get it done go on this vacation and come back but we found out that the Jeep actually didn't have the gear ratio I thought. I was told that the Jeep should have three by five five gears and that's what I believed it had. Well, it turns out it actually didn't have the three by five gears. It had 307. So that whole time, that's why I didn't have any torque. It was such a high gear or low gear, high gear. It was such a high gear that I had no torque the whole time. I'm already pushing it with 33 inch tires and then I put this like probably over 500 pounds of liquid not including all the extra junk I threw in it and then I'm trying to drive uphill. The Jeep was dying the whole time. That's probably why I broke that drive shaft so many times too, like good grief. Everything was just falling apart on the Jeep and I needed to get that fixed before I caused any more damage. It was also kind of scary going off-road and everything. And then also I didn't have four-wheel drive, so I really wanted to be able to do some stuff, but I just wasn't capable of doing it because I don't have four-wheel drive and I didn't have any torque. We're getting those installed, but because it had three by seven gears, I actually had to get a different carrier. So that added on to the price. It almost doubled the cost of what it was going to be originally. That's where we're at right now with the Jeep situation. And because of that, there was also a delay on getting it done. So he should have it done in the next couple of days. But then after that, my parents still have to get me there. So we have to kind of communicate when that's happening so I can get back to the Jeep, so I can get back on the road. But after we get all that done, there's still a break-in process. So after I get the gears fixed, it's gonna be a little bit longer for me to actually get everything going. I'm gonna have to drive a little bit differently. I can't just tow it all the way to wherever I want. On top of all that, a couple other things happened. So while we were on vacation, actually, we went down to the beach, and uh, while I was on the beach, I took my glasses with me, because why not? And while I was out there, on the beach, the tide was really, really calm. There wasn't like any strong waves. And then at one point, it just started picking up. Well, I had been perfectly fine the whole time. And then I had just turned around and got like hit straight on with the wave. And then when I got back up, it was super bright outside and I realized my glasses had fallen off and they don't float. So they had sunk to who knows where. And we actually spent like the last hour after that looking for them, did not find them. On the way back home, we stopped at a sunglasses hut and they had, you know, some glasses and stuff. And I was looking around, trying to find some different pair. And I was actually considering changing up the look. I had been using those blue glasses for over a year and a half now. And I kind of just fell in love with them. They're the Wayfair original frames. And I was looking at maybe getting something a little different and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, so, uh, I didn't. Still got them. I couldn't change it up. I looked at some other glasses that had blue lenses, but these ones specifically, the Wayfair Originals with the blue reflective lenses, 
I couldn't give up on them, so that's what I got. Except that it kind of put a little bit more of a delay on my budget. So, so anyway, that's about it. I just, the road trip isn't over. It just had to be temporarily postponed because I can't drive the Jeep in its current state. And this guy's gonna get it all fixed up for me. I'm gonna have the four by eight gears on there. So I'm gonna have plenty of torque, although it's gonna be a lot slower. And then he's also going to get the linkage fixed on the four wheel drive. So I'll have that as well. So those are two big things to look forward to. It's just a matter of getting back to the Jeep so I can kind of restart this and be able to get back out again. So I know it was kind of weird suddenly just like disappearing for a whole week and stuff. New updates coming soon. I might do a live stream soon so we can have like a little Q&A on that. I might just do that. We'll just have like a Q&A live stream because I don't have anything to do here that has anything to do with the Jeep except for talking about it and I basically covered that all today. So this is all for today. I got my glasses back. I got another pair of glasses. The Jeep is under repair. Everything's gonna get itself sorted out. So hopefully it'll all be good really soon and I'll be able to get back on the road.